Hello and welcome along to Mondo Chalavec Movies. My name is John and this video is going to be a video that I've wanted to make for quite a long time. It's going to be a look at every single thing on my shelf. Now I've done these ones before and I've just done a sort of um, drive past on them but this one I want to show off everyone. I'm not going to spend much time on them at all. I'm just going to do a, basically go through them one by one. Uh, I've started on my shelves as you can see here. I've took something from there and I'm going to go through the, these shelves then these shelves and these shelves from top to bottom um, I don't know how many parts this will be in I'm hoping it's not going to be too many parts I'm hoping I can get it down to as small as I can that's if I just go title after title after title but I find these videos when I do watch them on the channel is very therapeutic so hopefully you'll find that with this anyway you get to see a sort of first hand the covers of every single thing plus it'll give me an excuse to dust all my collection as well which doesn't get dusted as, as often as I would like it to okay so let's get into this um this is i'm pulling these off as if they were exactly how you would see them on the shelf if you just went and looked and pulled every one off and had a look you would see them as if i'm gonna this is the way i'm gonna show them to you okay so i think probably this video will probably be predominantly arrows i don't think i'll get through to me 88 yet but we'll see so first of all we have the special edition a blu-ray of battle royale from arrow absolutely stunning it is i've got to admit i'm not going for the 4k one because this one for me is just as good i will get the standard 4k version of battle royale great for them next is the limited edition house set this is the one with the book the book as well the book is absolutely brilliant so you get house one to four um lovely these are all solid boxes absolutely brilliant so that's house the full collection next one is gamera the Showa era and um, you get all the films from the Showa era i think there's about eight maybe in this and they're all absolutely brilliant very highly recommended you'll notice on some of these i do keep the uh, shrink wrap on probably for as long as i last and then the, the shrink wrap will come off it doesn't really matter because um it's protecting it for the time it's on here as well so lovely sat that highly recommended the next one is the high sci era of gamera this is the the later films of gamera i think there's four films in there haven't watched these ones yet but if they're anything as good as the short era ones they'll be absolutely brilliant great set i didn't go for that i didn't unfortunately i didn't get the huge one but never mind these ones fit on the shelf much better and they're much more accessible and the cheaper as well the next one is the hellraiser box set it's not the scarlet edition uh to be honest i like hellraiser I don't really care too much for the the later hellraiser uh, titles hellraiser 2 is pretty good i don't know about hellraiser 3 when i first watched it way back when i didn't really care for it but um yep hellraiser i'm just it was just got it cheap actually so it didn't uh, break the bank so and they've done a really good job on it arrow next is one of, oh i've got a i've got a leaning tower of Pisa over there wow Whew. if they fall the next one is the female prisoner scorpion the complete collection now there's um one one two three four films in here i believe this isn't the the limited edition one this is more of a um it hasn't got the booking or anything like that i don't mind that uh, it was a lot cheaper without it in but um the actual the full price one is just ridiculous i don't mind getting these ones uh, a bit later on if they go so, so out of uh, print that you can't get them this is a much better way of picking them up next is a, one of my favorite films of all time american werewolf in london this is the uh, the limited edition release absolutely brilliant uh, it's brilliant in every single way the packaging the the stuff you get with it the actual quality of the transfer is amazing will arrow be doing a 4k of this in the future perhaps next is uh, a dario gentle film bird with a crystal plumage which is now going to be coming out very soon in 4k and this is a 4k remaster but it's an absolutely lovely edition and um, i'm so glad to get it when i get the 4k will i keep this one i probably will because it's that nice of an edition the next one is the follow-up that uh, dario gento had for that uh, this series this was 1970 i think this is 1971 it is cat and nine tails and this is another one with uh, i think that these are improved picture qualities over the standard blue uh, the window box releases um lovely film 
lovely looking film should I say a great film I love these um, the only one that hasn't been released properly although it has been released on Shameless is the third film in this uh, trilogy the Animal Trilogy and it is Four Flies on Grey Velvet which was released by um, which is over there in Shameless not a very good quality copy I would love uh, Arrow to get their hands on it and bring these and even if they're in a the box set well we don't want another box set do we but uh, if they put a, like, a nice version out of that uh, that movie would be absolutely brilliant Next is another Dario Argento one, a bit later on in his filmography, Phenomena. It's a, it's a great addition. This you do get um, Phenomena, you get the other version of it called Creepers. Um, it's a limited edition, you get a booklet as well. I don't know if you can get this, the Creepers version, uh, when you get this, uh, if you get this on the regular edition, which is here. Um, probably a don't, but absolutely phenomenal phenomenal um released that one as o all the ones that have done with dario gentle have been top notch well, quite rightly so the next one is a lucio fulci masterpiece i was going to say master class you could see that as well i call it a masterpiece although it's it's a little bit strange especially the ending and uh i do try to keep the uh the j cards on these because they don't need to come off really they do protect this this box i like to have this box in the best possible condition I can have um, another one it's the uh, you get a bootlet with it you get the the disc itself you probably get posters and all that type of thing but um, lovely addition this and I would love this is a 4k scan so please I will release this in 4k I would love it because it's probably the only one of uh, Lucio Fulci's big four films that hasn't been coming out in 4k yet the next one is one that's begging for a 4k release which has got to be just around the corner considering that um, in 1982 it was released so this film must have a 4k scan next year it is the thing this is a lovely edition by arrow i've got to admit and um, well all of these ones are nice you get your limited edition booklet you get uh, the disc obviously uh, i don't know what else is limited to this set probably just the the actual box and everything but it's it's a stunning film and it looks absolutely amazing as well it's a it is a 4k restoration so please we need a 4k of this one as well i would love arrow to do it because i think i trust their I trust them when they do 4Ks as long as they keep the quality control up. We all know what we're talking about there. The next one is Pieces. This is another one I think it's yes, had a 4K transfer, which I can't believe a film like Pieces did have a 4K transfer. I would imagine this would come out in 4K something or other. Uh, because for the simple reason is these films now, I think uh, the boutique labels now know that these classics are, are very much in demand. So it would be crazy not to put if they've got a fork they've got a 4K scan. I would love them to do 4Ks of all the ones that they could actually physically get out. The next one is another hard box edition, and it is The Hills of Eyes, the original Hill, Hills of Eyes. I do like this film. It's got its limitations, and it's got a, it's got a 4K restoration as well, but I've got to admit the 4K, well, the, the, the probably the original uh, negatives in the way that this film is, was made is probably very low budget, so it doesn't look that good. But, um, well, it just got a 4K. I don't know if I'd buy a 4K of it, but I say that and I'd usually end up buying them, but that's the Hills of Eyes. The next one is one that I didn't think I was going to get, but I did because it was cheap and I thought, well, why not? I couldn't leave it on the shelf for £15 and it is the, the uh, special edition of the sequel, The Hills of Eyes Part 2. And it's... It's another. It's it's not as good as the first one. I've got to admit. Um, I don't know if I like it that much, but for that price, I just thought, yeah, gotta have it. Um, I do like these movies to a certain extent, uh, and I have to revisit this one again. Although I do know it has some issues about the the flashbacks in a dog's memory or something like that, which is a bit crazy for a, a premise for a film. The next one is another hardback classic, and it is a hard box classic, should I say? And it is Carrie. Uh, I love this film. I love that uh, that cover there. The eyes on Carrie are just uh, absolutely haunting. The, these these sets are just so tactile. They're just lovely. Everything about them is just so nice. Uh, it's, it's obviously packed to the gills with stuff. You've got your bootlet in there. You'll have uh, posters, nar cards, all that sort of thing. But uh, it looks absolutely lovely as well on uh, on on um, on Arrow. They've done it. It's a 4K restoration again. So here we're looking at possible ones that are going to come out in 4K. The next one is a one that divides a lot of people. I do personally like it, but I can see why a lot of people don't like it. And it is The Last House on the Left. This again has got, uh, has it got, it's got a, it couldn't have a 4K scan, this one. No, it doesn't say it has. Um, 
I do like this film to a certain extent. I don't watch it very often, but I do watch it. I do like, I, do, I kinda, I don't like the gang here, but I like how depraved they are. And they, they actually sort of come across as people who were uh, depraved in real life, of course they weren't. But uh, I love this set actually, It's uh, and it's it's a really good set as well. Um, it's probably the best set you're gonna get of um, House by House by the Cemetery. The last house on the left if you wanted that one and um, it's not one for everybody and i wouldn't imagine somebody paying a lot of money for this as well because of the content inside the next one is getting away from the sort of real hard box ones is a film called bloodbath now this has got about four cuts of the film on here and it's uh i think these ones don't don't have uh, 4k restorations on them. i think this is when arrow were just start, uh, sort of starting out with this restorations i mean they look lovely and the fact that they've got this film with all these uh, extra, shall I say, um, is this a joke? No, it's got a, it's like a sort of uh, cardboard slip box. Not as good as the other ones, but um, I think they've, obviously they don't go back to these ones. These were when they first came out in a sort of big special edition. Uh, so that's Bloodbath. Next is one that's very much sought after for the collectors and it is the limited edition, very limited edition, goes for crazy money, Deep Red. Now this is another, um, is this a 4K? I think this was done before they did sort of, no actually it is, it's a 4K scan. Now this this is my favourite Dario Gento film, it looks absolutely brilliant. Um, it sounds absolutely brilliant as well. I would love this to come on 4K, if they could do that, that would be absolutely brilliant. Um, again it's got all the, I think that the thing with this one is, it has um, it has two cuts of the film but the, the shorter version is actually the better version on this one. The one that's like released on the, the standalone one is the sort of the longer one. It's got Italian language in it. I don't think it adds anything to it. In fact, I think it makes the, the pace a little bit wrong for me. I prefer the, the shorter version if I'm if I'm honest. And I don't usually go for shorter versions. Whenever there's a longer version of a film, I'll always watch that one. But for me, this, this one, and then you can only get that shorter version in this set as well, which is a bit of a shame, but because um, a lot of people would be missing out on that. Uh, from this, this absolutely lovely uh, presentation so please another one 4k for that one mr arrow the next one is another one that uh, is one of the, the the one of the first sets that they released as these sort of like gigantic special editions it goes for crazy money because a lot of these do and it is necromantic this this one here is uh it's 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 not a, it's not a great film don't get us wrong it's a sort of very controversial film and um, it's really like poorly shot uh, it's only about an hour long i think and the, the the stuff in the special edition is absolutely brilliant the booklets and and all the stuff and it's just so good i mean so graphic i can't show you any of this but um it's it's a brilliant set and it's it's the only problem is it's so expensive now that um it kind of puts a lot of people off but you can get the standard version of it and i don't know i think it's only packaging that you don't get for on the standard version but the packaging here is really amazing considering what the film is the same can be said for its sequel necromantic 2 um <clears throat> it's got uh, it's got all the stuff in here exactly the same as this one as, as uh, necromantic but uh, i do prefer necromantic 2 i think it's um i think it's a better film it's better made obviously that's in black and white which i don't mind this looks, uh, it looks like it's shot in a camcorder this one doesn't it looks like it's shot as a film um it does have uh, better production values and it does have, I've spoken about this before in my uh, in some of the videos, that it has the best last line in any film that I've ever seen. It's just so good. And it's very, it's kind of unexpected as well. So that's Necromantic 2. This one is another one which is, uh, it's it's one of the, the ones that you get. I mean, it's super heavy, this this uh, this edition, but it just shows you that the these ones had a little bit of a feel into them and it well it's the uh, the bride of reanimator it's a lovely set lovely in boston on that um i probably had it probably had a, a j card here which i've taken off and um got plenty of stuff but as you can see i mean that's how it came here there's a lot there's crushing elements in here i think necromantic might have had it or uh, no it's not but uh it's a shame that them things happened with with these the way they were packaged, but they don't happen anymore because they don't do uh, the movies like that anymore. Um, but it's a, it's a, an amazing addition, and it probably goes for for crazy money as well. And obviously, it gets uh, really mocked up with fingerprints as well. It's one of the the worst color they could have picked, but the high gloss on it is just absolutely amazing. I do love that that version. 
The next one is another one that uh, used to be cheap. Now it's crazy money again. And it is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 Special Edition. This one's really nice. You've got like lots and lots of stuff in there. This is when Arrow f like probably first started doing these uh, these um, really big sets. And it's, it's amazing sets to think that uh, this film was long. You couldn't get it in the UK for a long time. But um, now it's readily available. But the set here, if you can get it cheap, it's absolutely brilliant. And sometimes you do see it quite cheap which is odd because sometimes it, it just depends on what day you see it you could see it one day and it could be eight pound as i've seen it in I've seen it in hmv once i think for eight pounds and other days it goes for 30 in, in cx and stuff like that which is mad so that's the uh, the big boxes up there next i'm going to go to slipcase versions and this one is this next one is bring me the head of alfredo garcia I watched this film, I haven't watched the Arrow version of it. Is it a 4K scan? There's a 4K scan. I do remember it just being a really good film, just as far as this, uh, this, all he has to do is bring me the, it has to kill someone and bring the head to a, a, like a sort of crime boss to say that he has, he has actually killed Alfredo Garcia. And when he sort of, it's not gonna be in spoilers, he does have the head in a bag, but he, he sort of flips. I, I remember from when I watched it, he does sort of flip and he sort of thinks this head's talking him and stuff like that. It's so, it's such a bizarre film actually, but uh, it's it's a really um, it's a really good film. I do need to watch it again though because I haven't seen it for many years. The next film is Blood Rage. This is another. Uh, it's a great slasher. This one and this uh, these slipcovers are. I've got to admit, Arrow slipcovers don't hang about for a long time. If you ever see a one cheap or at a normal price with a slipcover pounce on it because they won't be there for very long and they're really nice as well the slip covers that they do the next one is a quite a low budget film actually called deadbeat at dawn it's it's not a bad film actually but it it's not um it's not gonna set the world alight uh, nice slip cover on that and i do like the uh the director jim van beber who actually stars in it as well there he is there He's a bit of a loose cannon and when you see him getting interviewed on these uh the behind the scenes things he's, he just talks he's a bit of a madman actually um so that's deadbeat at dawn the next one is demons now everybody knows that this has come out in 4k now this is a lovely uh, sort of um the the slip case version the slip window pane version which is actually underneath this uh this back bit which i haven't took off yet since i've got it um the the 4k is a massive uptick on this version on blu-ray if i'm honest next i've got demons 2 it's in the same uh, as this it just looks absolutely phenomenal uh, although i've got the better versions on now i've got them on a uh, 4k but i'm still keeping these because i just love the presentation of these plus it's got the booklet in between the two of them which gives you the full version of what could be in a De demons 3 it's actually really good that now these ones here, I did have a lot more of these uh, Arrow the uh, window pane books uh, boxes, should I say? But uh, I've got rid of a few of them for, uh, because I was double dipping a lot in this uh, section, so I just went and got stripped out the ones that I didn't really need. But the ones I've kept, I do really enjoy, and I would like to get a full set of it, but it costs us far too much. Next one is Caligula. Um, yes, this is a little bit uh, OTT to be to, to say the least, uh, but a great film. Uh, well. It's not so great, but the idea behind it was great, if I'm honest. And usually the sort of behind the scenes and stuff about it is quite more interesting than the film, if I'm honest. The film was a bit of a mess when I, go, when I think about it. Next one is a Mario Barber masterpiece, Black Sunday. Now this has, if anyone hasn't seen it, it's got a film on here called I Vampiri from 1956. Um, I urge anybody to see it because some of the special effects in it, I think it was the first ever Italian horror film black and white and it's absolutely stunning and that the special effects in it i just don't know how they did it i'll leave it at that i urge you if you've got this film if you've got this set don't think that that film is something you shouldn't see it's absolutely brilliant this is a great film but the the, the sort of special feature of having one more film on it is amazing the next one is a uh, lisa and the devil which you can see is basically like an exorcist ripoff from mario barber and um, it's got two versions on the film of the film in here and the, to be honest, I prefer the one, I prefer Lisa and the Devil, the, the one that's the extra version, well, the, the sort of remix version on here, I think it's called The House of Exorcism. It's not as good, actually, and I think they're trying to just be sort of like shock, I think it's like trying to do a shock value sort of thing. I can't believe it's only a 15, actually. 
because of what you see in the, the uh, that sort of uh, different version of it. Next one's another Mario Barster masterpiece, uh, A Bay of Blood. You could more or less say this is where Friday the 13th got its ideas from. Um, it's It looks brilliant actually and I do, I do think this is a really good film. Um, but you can really see how uh, Friday the 13th did kind of rip this off massively actually. The next one is a Dario Argento film which you could see is towards the end of his sort of creative um, genius heights. And it is Inferno. Uh, 1980 it's a sort of uh, it's, it, you can see it's the unofficial sort of sequel to kind of in a way it's uh, Suspiria um, I do think it's a good film uh, I don't think it's better than Suspiria personally I think Suspiria is one of his best after Deep Red but uh, not a bad film at all I do like the covers on here they're very exploitational but I like exploitational covers if I'm honest the next one is uh, was a Stone Cold classic back in the day of VHS and it is The Exterminator um, a one-man army and the like I say these ones are absolutely brilliant you get tons of stuff and as you know uh, posters all that type of thing it was a really great thing that I used to do this that I had to, I believe that I had to stop doing it because it was cost them so much money to make them they were just losing start to lose money on it plus they were all getting damaged when transit I do think but uh, the exterminator really good exterminator 2 is quite good as well actually that one that needs a good uh, blu-ray a really good special edition should I say Next one is one of my favourite films of like comedy horror. It's Frank and Hooker. This is, I just think it's one of the best films I've ever seen uh, in the way of sort of comedy horror. Um, it's just brilliant. Uh, it's very low budget actually, but this the fellow in here, I'm gonna try and see what he's called on here. But um, actually his name in the, in the show is called, and the film's called Je Jeffrey Franken. Wow. Um, James Lawrence. He doesn't do any sort of many many stuff, but the things I've seen him in, he's just absolutely brilliant. He's so funny as well. I'd love to do more films. The next one is a one that got banned, and it shouldn't have got banned. It is uh, Toby Hooper's The Fun House. I remember going to see this at the cinema, and we loved it. Um, but when I heard it, it got banned. I remember seeing it and thinking, "Wow, what? Why?" But uh, I don't know why. It's even it's even a fifteen now. It just shows you how times change. Wow. It shows you how times have changed. Next one is uh, William Lustig's Maniac Cop. Ma William Lustig is the sort of owner of um, Blue Underground. It's strange that uh, this came out on Arrow. I don't know if he had a sort of um, a deal with Arrow at the time, because um, I don't think they will, they've, they've sort of released many uh, will, will Lustig films. I would imagine Blue Underground might be getting this ready for, because it's his film. I could imagine this one coming out in 4K by Blue Underground very soon. Next one is a really thick one, actually weighs a ton. Obsession, a Brian De Palma film, I believe. Uh, yes, Brian De Palma. And you got this huge booklet in it. And I remember seeing this, I remember seeing this and it was like stupid money. And then all of a sudden, for for some reason in HMV, it was literally, um, I think it was about six pounds. So I thought, we have gotta get that. I haven't watched it again, but I have watched it. I have seen it, but I haven't watched the Arrow version of it. The next one is Vamp. I think this film was absolutely brilliant. I used to, used to have this on VHS and I used to watch it like, just all the time. I uh, couldn't get enough of the film. I just thought it was so good. Um, it's a little bit, it doesn't hold up as well today, but I do still like the film. I do think, I do rate it quite highly. Um, so that's the end of my uh, sort of clear window uh, releases. And so I'm going back to a few more. Um, this is a slip book and it is uh, the sort of limited edition Beyond the Value of the Dolls. Uh, you do get a separate film in here. The, the next film in here is called, uh, if I can see it, um, I think it's called, yeah, The Seven Minutes. I haven't seen the extra film actually, but this film here, it's just so amazing. It's about as 70s as you can get a film, the way they talk. It's quite brutal as well in, in its own way. But uh, this is the special edition. You don't get the seven minutes on the regular version. Next one is a Lucio Fulci film that I consider to be a real masterpiece and it is the Giallo Don't Torture a Duckling. Um, I didn't used to like that cover actually but on reflection I do think that's a really good cover because it does sort of tell you a lot about the film without telling you anything about the film. If you've seen the film you know exactly what this is about. But uh, yeah, Don't Torture a Duckling, lovely addition that and it looks very nice as well. The next one is a US release and it is Basket Case. Oh, lovely slip on that one and uh, this is um, I think this is quite out of print as well I don't think you can get this one easily and I don't know why it was probably for rights issues I don't I think um, 
second sight have uh, the rights to it in the UK but uh, this this one here for me is uh, is just an absolutely brilliant film it's I think is it a, yeah, it's a 4k restoration as well sadly will it will it be re will it be released on 4k I don't think so but I would like to see it It'd be amazing to have that in there uh, 4k so the next one is the prey now I remember this is a lovely slip on here I remember seeing this um this movie and thinking uh, it's got three cuts of the film on here I believe lovely cover that and I thought right I'm gonna go for the um, the longest version on here and uh, to be honest I didn't like the longest version I'm gonna go for the shortest version because it was just rambling in a lot of places but maybe the short one would be a lot better the next one is a real stone cold classic for me back in the day uh, we used to get this out of the video shop all the time it is contamination and I think this is from about 1981 and it's basically just like an, an Italian alien ripoff but I just love it the eggs in here are just ridiculous but uh, it's quite gory as well I think it got sort of semi banned on uh, in the video nasties uh, banning which I thought was another travesty that didn't need to be banned the next one is Mutil the mutilator this is quite a decent film actually uh, the death that befells uh, a lady with this hook is just wow and uh, this this so I could say that this can kind of glow in the not doesn't glow in the dark but it's got this really good like neon tinge to it on the the lettering absolutely brilliant so that's the mutilator next one is a film that uh, I've never seen well I have I seen I don't think I've seen it at all um, there's plenty of special editions flying around by this and it has got a far new 4K restoration that's because it's just been released on 4K it is Donnie Darko now I saw this in, I wasn't going to get this film if I'm honest and I saw this in Tesco I think it was £8 so I thought right I'll have it it's got a slip as well I haven't watched it I do want to do want to watch it I'm going to watch on advice I'm going to watch the shorter version of the theatrical cut because I think the, the director's cut isn't as good I'm led to believe so I am going to watch this but it's one of the ones I always walk past it and think well I'll watch it tomorrow <clears throat> The next one is uh, one of my childhood favorite films from the video shops it is Weird Science. Um, used to watch this a lot uh, back in the day. Had a had a good VHS uh, version of this, and I just wat watched it to death. Funny enough, I haven't watched this on the, uh, the Arrow version yet, um, but I'm really pleased that they got this, and uh, it's a 4K scan as well. Weird Science on 4K. Well, these days I think anything can be released on 4K when you see some of the ones being released. Howard the Duck, anybody? The next one is uh, Crimes of Passion and this is a 2K restoration. I didn't think it's never looked very good actually but it looks alright on the Arrow one. The slipcase on here is just absolutely phenomenal. Uh, I do urge anybody, the film itself is weird but I do urge anybody to get it because it's not a bad film but the slipcover, wow. And it's not too uh, expensive as well. The next one is also a lovely slipcover, it is The Giver. Didn't know anything about this film i watched it and i thought i wasn't going to like it but i do really i did really like it it's sort of like to me it's a bit like mighty Morphin power rangers kind of and uh, it's got that sort of feel to it but uh, it's a pretty decent film actually it's got michael berryman in there from uh, the hills of eyes the next one is just phenomenal it is killer clowns from outer space this is the one that's been remastered in 4k actually a 4k scan a 4k of killer clowns would be amazing it's a great film it's it's, it's nuts but uh, much better than the previous version i put out this is that you can tell the remastering here has been done really well absolutely brilliant the next one is one i just picked up the other day actually and it is uh i see you I haven't watched this yet but I thought it's there, 7 dollars slipcover, why not? Uh, I heard a lot of people saying good things about this. I've checked it out a little bit and the picture quality is absolutely stunning as well. Um, I don't know if these have, need a 4K scan because obviously the, the brand new films. The next one is the one that I got in the sale uh, and it's got three films in it. Uh, it's the Dead or Alive trilogy. And uh, that's another one that's uh, it's it's by Takeshi Miike. So it's got to, well I'm saying it's got to be good. Um, I do like his films. Everyone I've seen his films are absolutely brilliant. So uh, it's got a lovely slip cover on here. And um, yeah, I think it was only £10. So it's another one where I think I've got to have it. Um, I did, I haven't seen it, but the fact it's directed by him and the fact that Arrow have done it are really two good things to go for it. And if it doesn't work out and you get these things, it's for £7.99 and £9.99 on a sale. They don't work out. You can easily resell them uh, for the price you paid for them. The next one is Blade of the Immortal. Uh, I've seen this a couple of times on on Steelbook. Not that I would buy the Steelbook, but uh, I saw this with. I think this is another one that I got. Uh, you know, when you got the the seven ninety nine sales or seven pound fifty sales or 
when you used to get the, the amazing sale five for 30 pounds which would go crazy with an uh, in, in a HMV for um, that's this I haven't seen this one yet but I've heard good things about it I don't know who directs it actually but to cliche in my case so yes it's, <laughs> to me it's got to be good hasn't it and the last one speaking of steel books that I don't get this is the only steel book I've got from Arrow and it is Foxy Brown it's a brilliant film I think Coffee is the better film to do uh, Pam Greer and the black exploitation movies but I do highly rate this one as well um, and Pam Greer is great in it she's great in everything I've seen her in okay so that's basically you've got there you've got you've had the top shelf and you've had them ones there now I thought I would be able to get through a lot more on this episode but I think that it's probably going to be about uh, around about the half an hour mark which is a bit wow I don't want to take them any longer than them I could put it on for an hour two hours and do a lot more but I want to break this down into sort of bite-sized chunks as well so anyway so thanks for watching appreciate you sticking around the end you take care and I'll see you on the next video